Hmm, wouldn't it be great to own a Model T? Hello my dear viewers, my name is Tomo and welcome to my small hobby YouTube channel. This channel is all about scale models and my hobby. Who would have thought? So on this channel you will probably find reviews, uh, builds and some tutorials done by me in my own way. Uh, so if you have just stumbled across this channel, welcome, make yourself comfortable, don't need to take your shoes off, but if you're already subscribed, you're awesome! So today we're gonna do a review, and today we're gonna review this. Amazing. So this is the famous Ford Model T Roadster from 1913 made by Ukrainian company ICM and it's in 124th scale. Self-explanatory really. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful model and I saw it built in the uh, Nuremberg Toy Fair and it was displayed there uh, in their booth and it, it was just stunning, phenomenal. I'll show you the little uh, box mm, itself. And this is really, um, and then on the back there's like a computer aided drawing of the model. Now, this era of uh, scale models uh, is really kind of neglected. What I mean by that is that most scale models are from the Second World War period and the First World War and before the First World War. It's really not that uh, common to see them and when I saw this one I was immediately drawn to it. And yeah, so um, this car is uh, around 120 42 millimeters long and it has around 77 parts so it's really not that big of a deal to, to put together and I think that even um, a novice modeler will be able to put this together uh, even pricing is very moderate uh, at around uh, 27 euros which isn't that bad um, and yeah let's just dive right in and see what's in it so the box itself is pretty nice uh, and you open it like this Wow opening a box and in it there's uh, some localized um, well in Slovenia anyway localized version of the instructions uh, not, nothing really fancy but inside you'll see the whole sprue in one big bag which I don't really particularly like when manufacturers do this because I just think that it uh, sometimes it can damage some of the sprues especially if they're like coated but you know uh, whatever um, it is what it is and in it I'll show you I'll open the box I'll open the bag uh, the detail on the thing is absolutely and uh, great I'll just put those things out I'll I'll make pictures like I did before um, so yeah so let's start with this one so this is the first sprue and the detail is very nice, very crisp, um, very great. I mean the steering wheel, the fans, the covers for the, for the engine and the, the chassis. There's one molded piece, it has nice detail, it's like a Ford logo here. Um, like I said, don't worry about it, if you, don't, if you can see it here, I'll put some uh, still pictures after the, uh, the unboxing review and um, there's not really any flashing going on to be honest it's really crisp it's I, I cannot see anything remotely crappy about this model to be honest it's just really really nicely molded and nicely detailed there's like a little pattern for the floor it's nice it had like a nice touch to it like a grainy sort of touch and feel um, the tires are white rubber with not a lot of detail but you know tires in general in that period I, I guess they didn't have a lot of detail on them anyway uh, these are the wheels and the wheel spokes which you can uh, of course make into wood again there is no flashing whatsoever there is just pure clean lines, really good molds, really good molds. This is the uh, top portion of the build, so we got the seats, which is wow, it's really great. It's um, you can see the little buttons, 
in the grooves in the seats um, as well as the side uh, armrests um, the roof is one it, it doesn't have any particular texture to it as far as I can see and on the bottom there's a um, little holes that were from the molding pro left from the molding process but you can get rid of them but anyway if you're going to be displaying it as a static model and from you know people looking at from a distance this ain't gonna even matter unless you're like really anal about your details um, which I'm not so uh, yeah this is the side roof cover the back and the side portion of the body nicely done nicely cast there's a uh, not a lot of detail on them except for the rivets on the doors and the hinges um, but I guess you know it's, it's to be expected it's nicely sh it's it's kind of thin I think it's kind of a thin plastic but you know it doesn't really matter it's beautifully it's beautiful done so and these are the gold plated parts that come with the, uh, the model and I'll open them up they're in a separate bag thank god Quite a big bag and these are yeah they're fairly well casted um, there's absolutely no flashing going on whatsoever maybe on this on these parts here but I think this is just a part of the sprue yeah this is a part of the sprue that's my that's my mistake so yeah really nice really good crisp lines uh, okay, the the side mirror maybe is a little bit odd because it has a seam line that goes um, because I think it's molded from two parts I guess, but it, it doesn't really matter. The the radiator grill has a little seam on top of it, so there's like a little uh, line that goes, and you can probably sand it down and put some paint on it. But I don't know how well you can be able to match the whole um, gold gold. Paint with other paints, I don't know. But yeah, this is in the window frame. Wow. And the handbrake or the gear change, I guess, in this case. Um, wow, really, really nice. And last but not least, of course, are the clear parts. I won't take them off uh, out of the bag because I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch them. Um, because I am going to be building this in the future, I promise. Because this is really, this is just wow. Really, when I saw this, like I said, when I saw this at the Nuremberg Toy Fair, I was, wow, it really, really looks good. Um, and I'll probably paint it just the way as the box, car, box art intended, intended in blue because it's red. But I, I see this car uh, also uh, in like, um, show you again the card. So I see this is the original. This is how they want you to be painted, I guess. But I, I if you could like paint it in like purple or maybe green or red would be nice but i guess it, you wouldn't be able to be as time time uh, period accurate uh, like henry ford said you can paint it in any color as long as it's black um yeah i mean being a scale model builder i think it's uh, important to have a little imagination and sometimes um, do things differently than they are supposed to be done but yeah i'm definitely definitely going to build this model and the last but not least in this box there is a manual uh it's not a colored manual it's basically just um <clears throat> a black and red it has some details about the model uh it has the paints that are listed on the bottom which is uh, normal for anything and in it there's like the sprues listed in the kit and then there's a for the whole building uh, build process it's very self-explanatory i mean you don't really need to be a rocket scientist to follow these instructions it's very clear i've seen it i've uh, I've, I've gone through it several times and it's pretty straightforward and very simple to navigate um as far as building building the whole model i don't know I'll, I'll do this and I'll tell you but I think that f with the part count that it's that's that it's in 77 parts it's not that much so I think it can be tackled by even the novice builder yeah nice there's like the it's it's a shame that they didn't do like a color manual but it, again it doesn't really matter 
uh, you have nicely detailed um, ways where to paint what with colors and the colors are listed like I said on the bottom with letters so yeah that's basically it um, now it's time to show some photographs So dear viewers, uh, I hope you enjoyed the pictures and the video. Like I said, this kit has only about 77 parts, which means that it's going to go together pretty quickly. And for that reason, I think it's going to be well suited even for the novice builder. Um, and I think it's a very unique piece. Uh, not a lot of companies make cars like this. And I think it will be a very good display piece for anybody. If you want to buy this uh, kit, you can do so um, in our online store. The link will be in the description below. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.